Maria back with another video, and it is Saturday, and I am getting my day started, slowly but surely, and doing some laundry, having some coffee, and just kind of cleaning up the house as I go along. But I wanted to make this video because I was thinking about uh, the um, perceptions that people have of you on social media sites, and um, particularly Facebook. And I have never been, like, a constant user of Facebook. I mean, when I first got on Facebook, I was kind of fascinated by it because it was like, wow, can you imagine, like, you can keep in touch with people that you haven't seen in many years, you know? And um, it, it's, it kind of, like, um, resolves some curiosities that you've had. Like, for example, if you knew a, a person in school who was maybe very, very tiny and kind of dorky looking, what do they look like today? So I was... Um, uh, co coaxed into getting a Facebook account back in 2008. Um, I was talking to um, someone I knew from high school, and well, actually just from my school years anyway, and they were asking me was I on Facebook. Now, I am not somebody at the time, I really wasn't using the internet. I mean, I had a computer and everything, but I really never got involved on social media sites. And so she was explaining to me what Facebook was. And so I decided to get an account. So I opened an account, and I put my, um, I don't have, a, I don't usually take a lot of pictures of myself, but I, you know, you want to put a photo on there. And so I put my photo on there, and I think a lot of the people who I used to know started conjuring up, including my family, started conjuring up all these stories as to what Maria is doing today. Facebook can paint a fa false illusion, just like any picture that you see. You might see a family who, um, you know, uh, uh, a, a picture of a, of a family, you know, um, you know, with a husband and a wife and their kids, and you might think, wow, what a lovely family. They're, they're doing so well. They're so sweet and what a wonderful, you know, group of people, and I'm sure there's so much love and warmth in that family, but you may never know that behind that photo, you know, that man might beat his wife, you know, you you never know. So, in the, in my case, I believe that a lot of um, myself and a lot of targeted individuals are, um, or anybody who, who deals with a lot of social media sites and whatever, um, I believe that this is giving them easy access to your location, the information, your personal information, you know, where you're living. <clears throat> so I, I don't recall on my Facebook page me ever listing where I worked or anything, but that was probably divulged my family. Um, I always kept that sort of stuff quiet. It was just basically me, where I live, and, um, you know, maybe a, a few pictures every once in a while. Um, so there really wasn't a whole lot of information on there. So, um, you know, I, I personally think that Facebook is a, um, it, it, it's, it's, it's got its good points and it has its bad points. And, you know, when you get a bunch of people together, especially, you know, in, in how they chat on these little private conversations and whatnot, um, it can be dangerous because now you've got a large group of people who now have the ability to start gossiping and any sort of illusions or per false perceptions that they're conjuring up in their head can get magnified to the point of where I am where I am right now and so many other targeted individuals are. Now, I do believe that um, uh, in my case, it, it could have, I mean, it could have started from a long time ago, my targeting, you know, of me just by, just by me, you know, lying to my husband, but um, it, I really felt the, but my, my, like I said, I've been, I've been stalked by my family before all of this, but I felt the, and now I'm starting to think, the intensity, um, of my targeting increased while I was working in Chatsworth, which is the same year that I was working in that job, and I'm starting to think of all the pressure and the obnoxious behavior of people, and I don't, I believe that I would have been gang stuck anyway, but I think Facebook made it a whole lot easier. Um, you know, when you are on Facebook, you're going to post the best picture that you have, okay? Like, you're not going to... See, now, back then, I remember those years, okay? In, in 2007, right when I got back to the Antelope Valley, all the way to 2009, okay, that picture, um, I believe it was the one where I was sitting... I had, I made this really cool backdrop with, um, like, old albums. I spray-painted them all and hung them up over my couch. 
and an apple, bright apple green couch, you know, and I love that couch, too. And so, anyway, I remember that picture, and um, I remember somebody I used to know making a comment about that picture. Um, but that was not my everyday look, okay, <laughs> because really, I mean, I dressed up every once in a while for work and stuff like that, but for the most part, if you were to see me around town shopping or whatever, you e would either see me in a pair of shorts, a tank top, and a scarf on my head, okay, because that was pretty much my everyday wear, okay? Like I said, when people get on Facebook or any social site, you're always going to post your best picture. You're not going to post yourself in, um, um, you know, with, with, like, you know, curlers in your hair, in your robe, and, you know, with no makeup. Nobody in their right mind would do something like that, you know, not for their main picture. So I think a lot of people just kind of jump to conclusions, especially with my family probably saying, well, you know, she's separated from her husband. And the next thing you know, Maria's living this crazy lifestyle. You know, it's all conjured up in your head. All conjured up in your head. Uh, I, I, people really are that bored, you know, it's kind of crazy. But I do believe that, um, you know, social media and your family and your so-called friends can get together and literally destroy your life. And I believe these social sites are easy, uh, are easy tools for them to use to do to, to accomplish just that. But uh, I really do uh, think that that there are benefits to Facebook, but there's also a lot of bad things about it as well. Um, you know, I, uh, I I think a lot of us are tempted on Facebook, like, my, my, my Facebook page is pretty bland, okay, and whether certain people are exaggerating their experiences in life after high school or whatever on Facebook, I, you know, I, I can't tell who's, like, the, you know, the, the person who's, like, you know, making all this money and being, like, jet setters and doing all kinds of, you know, impressive stuff, and I can't tell if, <clears throat> I can't tell if a person's living in a trailer park. Okay, I mean, there's no way of knowing because all I'm basing it on are the pictures that people are posting and the little, you know, stories and captions that they're saying about themselves. Other than that, I have absolutely no idea what people are doing uh, in their life. So, you know, um, I think some people post a lot of pictures of themselves on special occasions and they, they tend to pick those pictures out mo the most because, you know, they're joyful pictures and it's showing you at your best, okay? But sometimes, you know, a person could look at somebody's Facebook picture and think that these people are just living it up. I mean, they've got everything going for them. And they, the truth is, they could be getting evicted from their house. I mean, you know, you never know exactly what's going on um, with, with Facebook. So there's a lot of people making a lot of assumptions. And, and that gets dangerous, you know? Um, I'm, I'm, like, really devastated because I think this whole situation has really... Um, kind of uh, giving me an idea or um, a clear picture of the people that I used to know and my own family. It, it's it's really a strange experience because I will say that this is the worst thing that has ever happened to me in my life. It is the worst thing that has ever happened in my entire life and I regret, I rue the day that I posted anything on Facebook. I do. Because, um, you know, uh, what happened to me is happening to a lot of other people, and I do believe that Facebook and these social sites are um, uh, are, are, are are being used to target a lot of people. I mean, and there, you can't convince me otherwise. I mean, I mean, I know gang stalking's been going on for a long time, but with all these things, these conveniences, I mean, it just makes it too easy to get people together and, and literally just wreck everything that you ever worked for, ever cared for. And it really, it, it pains me to know that these people who were giving me, you know, these fake phony compliments on Facebook were actually secretly plotting to literally destroy everything I've ever worked for. Um, I can't overlook that. I just can't. Um, so, anyway, I mean, I, I, I think uh, Facebook... People need to start understanding that what they see is not always true. You know what I mean? And, or, you know, uh, women are always going to put their best picture on there. I mean, that's just, I, I can't even understand how somebody would calculate that in their mind. I mean, I guess because maybe 
because I was separated from my husband, but so what? I mean, so what? You know, I, I, it just blows my mind. It blows my mind. Um, and especially, you know, this is the kind of thing that people should really learn a lesson from because, um, and, and I, I really feel as though the attack on my personal life was deliberate because, like I said, there was many opportunities to clear that. There, there, there's many opportunities that people could have, you know, like, I was living in the Alamo Valley at the time, okay? I was living in Palmdale. My sister was living in Lancaster, okay? They were, like, 15, 20 minutes apart from each other. And besides, she could have picked up the phone and said, hey, you know what, Maria? Hey, uh, are you, you know, living this lifestyle, or what are you doing out there? I mean, what are you, what are you doing, you know, with your life? It could have been resolved just in a conversation. She could have asked me a question. But like I said, this was so much more fun to um, have this sort of discussion on Facebook. You know what I mean? Because you, you're, you know, in a collective group. And I understand. I mean, it, it, it's, a, it's, it's a social activity, okay? And uh, this social activity literally ruined my life. It ruined every aspect of my life. I mean, seriously. It affected my employment. It affected my my privacy. I mean, I, you got my people uh, putting my house under surveillance over a book, what I believe just a simple picture on Facebook, and it's the simple fact that I was separated from my husband at the time. Okay, conjuring up all kinds of bullshit in your head. None of that shit happened. You know what I mean? And uh, I I I like I said. I mean, I worked in Chatsworth, and I was commuting every day from the Animal Valley. Okay, so. I'm going to tell you, I got up early, early in the morning. I think it some, it's anywhere between 4.30 to quarter to quarter to 5. Somewhere around that time period. I got on the freeway, and like I said, I'd come home real late at night. Real, real late at night. So, I really didn't have the time to go out and enjoy myself. Now, I do remember going a couple, a couple of places, you know, but they were just so, like, sporadic. You know, most of the time, I spent my, my, my time at home doing laundry, and dreading going back to work the next week, next day. So, um, you know, no, I, th this is very damaging and painful for me to, to be treated the way that I have been treated and also to, to be accused of something um, just because I had my, my picture on Facebook. I will never, ever, <laughs> I don't know, I mean, my, right, t today, currently, my, Facebook account is, is inactive. I mean, I've, I've um, shut it down, put it back up, shut it down, put it back up multiple times, okay? Um, I, I, I feel like I've been, like, completely um, uh, just punished for, you know, absolutely nothing. And then the fact that these people destroyed my fucking means of survival um, is just, I, I, I'm just shocked. I, I Every day I wake up and I'm thinking, what the hell is going on? You know, um, people, I'm, I guess, you know, the reason why I'm making this video is because I'm hoping that people will realize and start putting the pieces together, okay? Um, very few people do anything to get targeted by the government. Um, you know, unless, of course, you're just, you know, uh, maybe a spy or, or something on the, along those lines. Other than that, I don't really believe that the higher levels of government are targeting you. Now, you got mayors and people like that who participate in it because, you know, they probably are ignorant of the law or whatever, and they're just kind of mingling with regular people within their community, and they're getting caught up in the gossip, and they don't really see any reason to, um, you know, stop the harassment, okay? They're probably participating in it or turning a blind eye to it. But for the most part, I believe it's a combination of um, this social media site, um, and then you got people who who seem credible on the out on um, by first glance because you think okay this is this person's family member they're getting involved in her targeting so therefore it might be true or I need to follow through with it because these people they perceive them to be a a person of authority and then they also um, I think I also mentioned the 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 um, the unprofessional people who are ignorant of the laws or just flat out ignore it, whether it be ignorance or just corruption. And then you got the social media and you're, it's intensifying and it just becomes explosive. And this is what 
why you've got all these people, these targeted individuals who are easily being harassed and their lives are being destroyed. It's that combination right there that is doing it to people. And uh, this, this is something that um, is very terrifying for me. And it has put me in a situation where I'm ostracized from society because you, you become... They, 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 first of all, because of these little rumors, it spreads throughout the community, throughout, throughout the country. And like I said, I've been contacted from people in other countries, okay? So it becomes so widespread that people start believing these lies. And the next thing you know, you're, su you're struggling for employment and people are painting a picture of you that's not true. Um, this is the worst thing that has ever happened to me in my entire life. And I... I, I can't believe that these people um, that I trusted um, would do something like this. I, I just can't just can't believe it. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video, and I would suggest to other targeted individuals or people who are not targeted yet, because I'm going to tell you what, with this sort of thing going on, um, anybody can be a target at any time, okay? Um, so the main thing is, is that, Number one, people can be on Facebook, okay? But they need to realize that there's a lot of false illusions or perceptions that occur on Facebook, okay? So don't, don't allow Facebook or use Facebook as a platform to destroy somebody's life with gossip that gets out of control. That's number one. Number two, um, employers really need to start learning from this. And I hope that they will. I hope that... Um, employers will start, you know, hiring people based on their skills, um, not allowing corruption to enter their workplaces. Corruption should not come out, I mean, uh, go into their workplaces, meaning that outside gossip, these stories and things that are unfounded should not affect um, people's decision making. And then also, um, corruption does not go out, meaning that they don't send emails, they don't participate in gang stalking, there should be no trace of it on their computers. Uh, receiving phone calls from perpetrators, things like this. This is this is key, okay? These things should be uh, taken seriously because this is a dangerous combination, okay? Many of the target pe people who are being targeted are being targeted based on assumption. That's why a ru the rumor mill is the main thing that fuels this, okay? And uh, you got to be careful, okay? For people who have family members, unless of course you want to kill them off. Okay, if that's your intention, because this is what happens. This is what happens to people. Okay, this is this is the end the result of loose lips, gossiping, and making up stories. Okay, so you got to be careful. And I'm hoping that people will learn from this lesson, and um, don't be so quick to judge others just based on somebody's appearance or whatever, okay? Facebook is a place to show your best, and a lot of people like to make up a lot of stories on top of it, okay? I'm not that creative, but I will tell you that my life has just basically been revolved around, in the last few years, my life has basically been based on trying to keep a roof over my head and pay my bills, okay? And it's been a struggle because of all of this, and you know what? It's not fair not fair to a lot of other people. So I hope everybody learns from this and that um, you might think about it and change your ways and hopefully we can end this problem of targeted individuals. Wrapping up this video, have a wonderful day.